Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be going over how to add a film grain texture to your design in Adobe Illustrator without changing any of the colors. So for a lot of designers, obviously, really specific colors are important. And this is a quick way to apply a texture without shifting any of your colors around. So yeah, let's jump into it. Uh, first, open up whatever your design is in Adobe Illustrator. Here what I have is uh, a beer can that I've designed for a local brewery. Um, this is their Caravan Pilsner. If you're around Fairport, New York, uh, check out Trip Hammer Beer Works. But yeah, first thing that we're gonna do is draw a rectangle. So we'll hit the M tool, which will bring up our rectangle tool. If you don't wanna do that, you can also just go over here to um, your shapes tool um, and we'll draw a rectangle. So over the entire canvas or artboard, we will make sure that we don't have a stroke on here and go back to our fill. Um, it's important to get this color exact. So what we'll do is uh, for the hex value 80, 80, 80, uh, which will give us a mid-tone gray. Obviously that covers the full design, but we're, we're gonna change that here um, in a second. Once we have that done, we'll select our gray rectangle and go up to effect and then down to artistic and then uh, film grain, but you can apply whatever effect you want to. Um, this is just an example. So I'm gonna do film grain, and we can see here what that looks like. Um, we can play with it a bit if we want to, increase the grain, decrease the intensity. Um, whatever you feel like doing, go ahead and do here in the Photoshop panel. Uh, once we're happy with it, we can click OK. Um, you can see that we have the effect on our gray panel, but uh, what's gonna kinda get rid of it just being gray here is uh, going to our blend mode. So what we'll wanna do is select our rectangle uh, and then over here, uh, click on opacity and then to the left of your opacity, we'll go to blend mode overlay. So after clicking overlay, we can see that texture that we've applied to our full design without really shifting any of our colors. Um, and if we decide that we're not quite happy with that overlay um, or with that film grain effect, all we have to do is go over back to our properties panel and then back to edit effect. Um, and then to me that was a little bit intense, so maybe we'll bring it back down to like a two for intensity, see how that looks. Um, yeah, super easy to go back and forth and play with what the effect looks like um, and play around with those values till you get something that you like. But that's good enough for this tutorial, I think. Quick key to blend modes here in Illustrator. Overlay will remove all of your 50% grays. Screen will remove all of your blacks and multiply will remove all of your whites. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Uh, thanks for stopping by guys. If you enjoy content like this, it would be awesome if you'd subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.